Hey, Corey, have you been down since day one-ish? Saxon, I've been down a lot longer than you have. The following contest is a triple threat tag team tables match. And is for the WWE Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 493 pounds. Jimmy and Jay, the Usos. The sons of WWE Hall of Famer Rikishi, Jimmy and Jay, one of the most exciting teams of this generation. It's the Hart Foundation. And at a combined weight of 516 pounds, they are the WWE Tag Team Champions, Bret Hart and Jim Neidhart, the Hart Foundation. A true Hall of Fame tag team when you look at Bret the Hitman Hart and Jim the Anvil Nightheart. And at a combined weight of 505 pounds. Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, the OC. Here we go, gentlemen. Huge title match coming up and a huge opportunity for the champ to prove to everyone that there truly is none better in all of WWE right now. Just cranking it out. 
finishing this thing off by any means necessary. Bam! Suplex! Ooh. Very nice.
the following contest is a six-man tag team match. Introducing first, from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 249 pounds, Edge! Already a star in WrestleMania career. Not only is he a Lucha Libre icon, but he's a WWE legend. And from El Paso, Texas, weighing in at 228 pounds, Eddie Guerrero. So many historic memories of Latino Heat. I know our colleague JBL speaks so highly of the respect he holds for Eddie Guerrero, one of the all-time greats. One of the greatest Lucha Libre stars around. We are about to see high flying exemplified. And from San Diego, California, weighing in at 175 pounds, Ray Mysterio. Ray Mysterio every night feel magical but the grandest stage is where Ray flies even higher Now, Balor also has a very nasty yeah. attitude. Who are you to pass judgment on a member of the Judgment Day, Byron? Judgment Day, destroy families, put competitors in the hospital. What, just to get ahead? For Priest, the ends justify the means. A man looking to take the Mysterio name in a new direction. Tons of rookie talent, but now has that edge that can bring him even further. And from San Diego, California, weighing in at 200 pounds, Dominic Mysterio! Sure. 
to be a hard-hitting tag team battle, as it always is with Edge, Eddie Guerrero, and Rey Mysterio. And in terms of opponents, they're up for quite the task tonight, as you can see. Finn Balor, Damian Priest, and Dominic Mysterio. Both sides in this match know that tag team competition is a very specific, very unique art form. We're going to see just who will be the better team here tonight. DDT! Talk about dismantling your opponent. but it looks like he still has some gas left in the tank. Just bludgeoning their opponent. Kick to the gut. Ooh, brutal form. Knowing how big all six of these men's egos can be, they might struggle to stay on the same page in this matchup, which is why the success of either team is most likely going to boil down to deferring to veteran experience. His eyes are fixated. He's looking to end this. No! Suicide five! That is reckless abandon being shown. And paying off as well. Oh. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. No, oh, no, 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 no. Spiked into the ring apron. And that prevents Eddie's attack. DDT! Oh, Latino Heat doing some damage. Yeah, Dominic needs to find an opening fast. Uh-oh. He's turning the tables. Crucial turnaround there keeps Dominic away from more danger. If he was looking for an opportunity to pull a 180, that could be it. Face first with a waistlock takedown. He needs to find his way back into the ring. The count just keeps going up. Eight. Oh. What's Eddie got in mind here? being shocked you've got to maintain pressure from the heavens big time splash climbing up top he's got big plans uh -oh. oh my god what a move uh, grabbing the arms and just rapid stops the stop in every single part of his body gets the tag close to ending it all there. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. Ooh. He's tagging out. Coming. Big time power line. What now? Oh, not to the belly. Oh, no. Trapping the arm. Vicious stomp to the hand. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Oh, is being controlled here. A swift rhythm of offense here from Guerrero.
Press man in. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Connected with a standing moonsault. Coming to the rescue. Dominic attempting to gain some fuel from the WWE Universe. their opponents all carefully measured double stomp and tagged in his edge a great move Nick Breaker from behind wheelbarrow hurricane on a very nice takedown Dominic was ready for that. Inelegant exit, but if it works, it works. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT UK Championship. A true blue chip talent, Braun Breaker. A powerhouse second generation superstar.
Introducing the challenger from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun Breaker. And his opponent from Midway State, Nigeria, weighing in at 241 pounds, he is the NXT United Kingdom Champion, Apollo Crews. We could very well have seen the last time the champ holds the United Kingdom title. These men want to etch their names in the history books. What be one of the prestigious few to hold the United Kingdom Championship? Backbreaker. Oh, backbreaker. Big boy. Wrecking the shoulder. So much damage inflicted. Oh, look at this. Just crank of the head. That's got to hurt. Tried to make short work of things there. Uh-oh. Cruz with a retaliation. Apollo is going to look to press on the advantage. Could be a change of fortunes for Cruz. Uh-oh. Hazardous part of town here on the apron. Nasty. The hardest part of the ring. There's no good way to land on the ring apron like that. The location has the Whoa. least give out of the entire ring. Cross landing. Picture perfect example for when you just want to put someone down with authority. Braun Breaker can really be like a dog with a bone when he's got his sights set on his opponent, Corey. How do you combat something like that? How do you keep Breaker down? Well, Cole, that's where in ring IQ and veteran instincts come in. Yeah. Breaker is quite the talent, but he's still a young talent with much to learn. If you have better ring smarts or more reps, use that to your advantage against Breaker. These superstars are showing no concern for their own well-being. All that matters to them right now is doing as much damage to one another as possible. Big ball. <laughs> and shoulders are down. Loose cover leads to a strong kick out. Opponent to know they're in for it. Shoulder tackle. Uh -oh. That gets reversed on Apollo. He's in for something bad. Powerful suplex. Oh, there's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. Oh, come on. But the most intelligent competitor in a battle knows that there are many roads to victory, including the low road. Uh-oh. The champion's down! The champion's down! Oh, my God, we have a new champion! He clearly has no intention of staying down. Spectacular athleticism. That extra rotation creep. Not allowing that to go on any longer. Challenger's looking shaken. Getting carried. I'm sure what they're thinking. Focus on the leg. Ooh, being hobbled like that, something to keep an eye on.
Shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. Yeah. Oh, and Rob's having trouble managing this onslaught. And he's staying on breaker here, showing a higher in ring IQ right now. What's Braun about to manufacture? Powerful suplex toss. Oh. Not the prettiest thing you'll ever see, but it sure looks effective from here. Powerbomb was absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. On a tilt to world sidewalk slam. <laughs> Arms hooked. Double underhook slam. Whip back into the ring. Braun setting himself up top. Look out! Big shoulder tackle. Jumping neck breaker. Ouch! The challenger not looking good right now. Not a bad place to be in, but the longer this goes, the more trouble a superstar exposes himself to. The Nigerian nightmare just oozing disdain and the feeling from the WWE Universe is mutual. Back for the here. Rob Breaker daring his opponent to try the odds. champion obviously not happy with this outcome i did not think a title change was in the cards here tonight
the Hall of Fame, Glamazon. And from Buffalo, New York, the Glamazon, Beth Phoenix. Beth Phoenix has had so many high-profile matches here in WWE, including the first women's tag team title WrestleMania match. I'm just hoping we get to see a glam slam on the grandest stage of them all. It sure looks painful to be thrown against the steel mesh. What does it feel like, Corey? It feels like the cage is a cheese grater going down your body. The steel mesh is just raking at your flesh. There's no doubt that the steel cage can become a torture chamber. That's why you see some superstars trying to get over the top as soon as they can. Not so easy when your opponent is nipping at your heels like a rabid dog, though. That's the one finds its target. And now up the side of the cage she goes. Takes incredible guts to make this climb. Moving up the cage. 
as she's gingerly balanced on the top of the cage. And she is making time in this steel cage look easy. She can't be liking the view from up there. Close to escaping. Top of the cage. Pulling out back in. Saving the matchup. And every inch climb puts you in a more perilous position. Got to wonder if the stamina is there to make it all the way.
needs to be careful, though. Every movement is a dangerous one. Takes incredible guts to make this climb. Not many places for her to go now. And she is making climbing this steel cage look, look easy. She's looking exhausted from the climb. Does she have to stay on it to make it out? She goes Rough, even for someone tough like her. And the Sky may indeed be the limit as she continues to scale the side of the cage. She could be nearing the end here. And she did it! Big win inside the cage. Here is your winner, the Glamazon. Question the toughness on display here tonight. Takes a lot of guts to even set foot in the cage, but to win is even more impressive. This win is going to have them on a high for quite some time, I have to believe. Winning's great, Saxton, but they have to start thinking about their next challenge sooner rather than later. This win won't be all that matters much longer. Superstars, a multi time world champion, multi time intercontinental champion, multi time tag team champion. Is there anything Dolph Ziggler can't do? Dolph Ziggler has done it all. He has truly proven himself to be. showcase of immortals is overcome by darkness the phenom's opponent has got to know that the end is near on the grandest stage Undertaker, of course, long known as the best pure striker in all of WWE. He's not the type of competitor you want to get into a fist fight with. Even if that wasn't his reputation, I don't know that you want to get into a fist fight with a superstar the size of Taker, Cole. But yeah, you have to watch out for his strikes and just his heavy-hitting offense in general. Yeah, Undertaker's combination of power and agility allows him to really pack a punch. Pun intended. And for Dolph to win this one, I think you need to strip away all the talk on social media, all the interviews. They're all just smoke screens. Trust me, Dolph's coming in with sinister thoughts. Yeah, Ziggler has always been a master of diversion, always using out of the ring tactics to distract his opponents from the vicious in ring wrestling threat that he is. And there's Dolph being out wrestled. And The Undertaker with that heavy hitting offense right now. Oh, what a shot! Returning fire. What's the Undertaker got in mind here? Hey, Byron. How about we 
take things a little old school. Yeah, I like it. Right across the back of the shoulder. That'll mess up the back of your neck. For Dolph Ziggler to win this match, he's going to have to rely on his in-ring savvy. Dolph knows the art of wrestling inside and out like few others. The more he can put his in-ring IQ to work, the better off he'll be. Yeah, Ziggler has logged a lot of time inside the ring. That could help him find the edge here. And Ziggler is falling behind here. Dolph's having trouble assessing the situation. So hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Oh, a thunderous chop. Punch him in the chest. That holds back Ziggler's attack. Man goes under the ropes to get back inside. Superstar fired up in the face of victory, and what a classy display by the loser. Not how the night wanted. Oh, oh. oh. yeah, classy, not at all. How about pathetic?
Well, there is no WrestleMania without Mr. McMahon. And his opponents, first from New York, weighing in at 220 pounds, Jay Chan. It may not be cool to play by the rules or treat every single opponent with respect, but they don't care. Hey, the WWE Universe sounds like they think it's cool. Agreed. It is cool. Second only to Hulk Hogan in main event show closing WrestleMania matches. Because on this stage is where Triple H is his most cerebral, his most brutal at the showcase of Immortals. so they are all paying homage to the King of Kings. Well, the entire WWE Universe knows that when it comes to Triple H, he always brings his very best, always competing at the absolute highest level. We are about to witness a master at work. And what are the odds we see a temporary alliance of sorts in this triple threat? If we do see one, Michael, betting it won't last. But these superstars are only here for one thing. They know that at the end of the day, it's every person for themselves. Oh, man! What a nasty STO. Turning the tables. Submission. The crossface chicken wing. He breaks the hold. Officially part of the match makes their presence felt. That's when a competitor needs to utilize the anything goes stipulation to their benefit and eliminate the mismatch. Battling at ringside can be very unforgiving. You have to be careful out there. No protection out here. No safe confines to speak of. Double chunk slam. Temporary alliance, but you really shouldn't count on anyone but yourself in this kind of situation. Off the barricade. What a headbutt. Vicious. He's lost some of his win now. Now would be the time for everyone. 
one to clear out. Easier said than done. They are not concerned about anyone else's well-being. Into the barricade. Finds a counter for Mr. McMahon. Environment atomic drop. Uh-oh. Look at this. Uh-oh is right. So close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just gonna step aside now. Hey, wait for me! Just like Mr. McMahon. Absolutely no class. Absolutely brilliant. He switches it back around. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs, no worries. And we just saw some serious offense. And there's a neck breaker. He's struggling a bit here. Hanging tough as this match progresses. No easy task in a triple threat match. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Bill gets put into the barricade. Oh, man, a countless attack to the knee. Now, that was a very questionable attack. I think it goes beyond any gray area. Oh, a cheap shot right above the eye. Holy, meet the barricade. Run out of ringside and back to the mat. The cerebral assassin showing how he earned the name, working his way into an opponent's head. superstars involved in this hard-hitting triple threat. This was an unpredictable one, but when it was all said and done, only one man could be left standing. One man out of three. It was always bound to lead to a little chaos. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, 
Weighing in at 266 pounds, the wrestling champion, Kevin Owens. Another relentless Kevin Owens. You got to wonder what KO Mania is this, seven or eight? I've lost track. What we do know is that Kevin Owens won the United States Championship at WrestleMania 33. I guess you could say that was KO Mania 2. And then he jumped off the WrestleMania side. To... The Great One is here! The biggest crossover star in sports entertainment history! I can barely hear myself think the most electrifying man in all of entertainment just blew the off this arena and his opponent from miami florida weighing in at 265 pounds the rock the great one has returned to wrestlemania where he's beaten the and we kick things off with the most electrifying man in all of entertainment the rock not just electrifying, but story. This man comes from wrestling royalty. A third-generation member of the Anawaki dynasty, The Rock is as tough and hard-hitting as anyone in the family tree. Plus, you add in the sheer charisma of a Hollywood star. The man is an icon. No two ways about it. A star he is indeed. Looking to add another hit to his resume here tonight. Yeah, but let's not ignore Kevin Owens. He has no regard or respect for just about anyone who steps in the ring against him. He doesn't care that you're upset. KO doesn't care. He just wants to fight and dismantle his opponents. Absolutely bad intentions coming from Kevin Owens. Always. When it comes to facing off against The Rock, the last thing you want to do is let him feed off the energy of the crowd. The WWE Universe loves Rocky and his performances in that ring are his response to that love and adulation. For that very reason, you cannot for a second let him get rolling or allow him to absorb that energy. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Ooh, the, floor. the Rock showing what makes him the people's champ. Side. This could get wild. And gets tossed back into the mat. Superstar realizes how oh, 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 a second. I understand being frustrated, but that's ridiculous. This superstar just crossed the line. 